Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. Today, Justin Herbert, Monday Night Football. Impressive, impressive performance on a number of different levels. Fired up to dive into it. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. So this video is a small sample size of what will be dropped this week for the Quarterback School Patreon community. If you want the entire video, really exactly what it's like to be in an NFL quarterback room. We go through the details, pass protection, run game, routes, quarterback, defense, lots of details over there. Hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community. I will put links in the corner of this video. The link is in the description as well. I appreciate the support. Get over there. Usually three to four videos a month. It's paid by creation. So don't freak out paid by creation get over there check it out i appreciate the support as for this video let's get into it justin herbert and the chargers balling out monday night football touchdown right here working the back line just absolute precision accuracy love the footwork the base the dance all of the above here quarterback wise you can see his feet be able to go from our right to left just one two three no right back across no heel click just absolute strike, high back five. So many good things. We'll say that there's probably a missed assignment up top here just with what the three and the two receiver end up doing. But when we're coming back here, working the top line here, again, I love keep that thing right on the landmark. Don't get too close to the back line. And again, these guys are just too close. I'm going to almost guarantee one of them does not do the correct route. But what I love here footwork-wise from Herbert, lined up to his left, no heel click, keeps his feet apart, is able to just reset. And again, great pass pro, but this is precision in the red area. And it all comes from the footwork, the design down here, just a little seven stop with a flat at the bottom. So no to that, don't like it, three over two. They do a nice job sorting it out. Well, when they do that three over two, then they're asking the middle of the three linebacker types to carry that over vertical of the number three, and it's just not available. So that linebacker on the top hash has got to turn and run and just can't do it. That's too much space. But the footwork wise, the quickness from within the pocket, getting through your reads, and then just the absolute cannon there and the precision accuracy for the vast, vast majority of these throws. But really it's a combination of things. It's the play design. It's the aggressiveness on third down, later in the game on fourth down. But that's just a thing of beauty. That's excellent red zone passing. Down here, one of the few misses of the night, an inside release fade or go, and that thing is wide open by league standards, and that's one of those ones you'd probably bet a lot of money that Herbert could hand off to him. Comes out just a tick flat for me. You know, and I, when you watch the entire game, I think that there are more than a handful of throws where he kind of double clutches, and it, he's fortunate enough to be able to get it off. But for me, for whatever reason, it looks like he hits that back foot and just isn't quite in rhythm. Now, it's one thing to set and kind of pause at the top of your drop to give a guy a chance to win on a press. And that might be what he's doing here. But over the course of the entire game, there's at least, I can think of three plays where he double clutches. And it's just, to me, they're just not quite synced up yet. And that's really got to be scary to most people, unless you're a Charger fan. But footwork-wise here, you can see just this little like, uh, uh, like right at the top, right? And right here is probably the one time where you would expect it. Everything except the accuracy there at the end. Just versus press, sometimes you'll have to sit on those routes. Right here, this is just an absolute world-class design of a play. No, he's wide open. You got to throw it. All those types of things. I get it. It's quarterback school, not design school. But this motion and then having the vertical come from the fullback position, the timing of it, just an absolute thing of beauty offensive architecture world class so what am i talking about well the they're in this kind of what i'm going to call 12 personnel i slot look a lot so we've got i backs we're in a variation of slot we're going to motion across and we're going to really hit this thing almost like a jet or fly sweep motion well what this does when you're in man coverage here is now we are going to bump this down so you go from if you're this player you go from having man out here on one of these wide receiver types, extended eligibles, to now he goes in motion. You got to know the motion adjustments. So now you go back to the number two over here. So he's now going from here, theoretically, to here. Well, easier said than done, right? Oh, that should be easy. You go from a wide receiver to a fullback type. 
Well, this fullback type is coming to block you. He's been smoking you on isos all night. So now you got to come up there, be ready to fit the run, and he's right by you. Like two ships passing in the night. But it comes from the motion, the horizontal stretch, the play action fake right at you, and we're by you. So just go through your, if you're that defending up there on the edge, in, now you got to fit the run, oh, by you. And if it wasn't there, you'd work kind of that. I'm going to guess this is a read or curl. You could probably take the post if you wanted to up top. Settle down. And that's just, I mean, it's wide open. It's absolute outstanding offensive architecture. Great call. Great execution. Quarterback-wise, love the decisiveness. Play fake. Offhand on his core. Right there. Thing of beauty. Extend the ball. See it. And then he's able to hit that back foot. And the ball's out. He's lined up, sort of, but all his cleats in the ground, right? Nothing toesy about that throw. Drive it. Just love so much of this play. I mean, that's obviously wide open, any level, but in the league, popping that wide open, you know it's a well-designed play. Next one here, a little touchdown. Just love it. High, low, that linebacker type with an old-school Texas. Again, another huge third down. Again, another great throw, precision in the red zone. One of the things I think is most impressive with him. High back five, back five of the end zone. And this is really just old school Texas. Now, there are some great play design in this Chargers offense, but they're also running some, what I would consider, older concepts. You know, you see a lot of stick. You see a lot of spacing. This is just old school Texas. And all this is, is you are high-lowing this defender right here. And really, you have both of them here especially versus split field coverage. You get these two safety types here. So you're able to come in there and really take a shot. So we're reading that linebacker type. They actually get to closed here. My goodness. Close from that far, you're never going to get over there for the seam. And there it is. That's, that's almost too easy. At least versus clo open, you'd have to cross that safety's face. Again, he's got both the Texas and the scene. Things I love, though, are is the precision and the accuracy. High back five. Base. Look at his base. No heel click. All his cleats in the ground. Strong base and just rip that thing. And again, everybody talks about the arm strength, the ball control. Just really impressive. Just that little look off. You can see the bolts going to the left here and with his helmet once he gets this snap. So his helmet to the left, hold that middle field player, come back and rip that thing. No hitch, all his cleats in the ground. I mean, that's an absolute seed. Really fun to watch execute in the red zone. Another one right here, back from the backfield, running a variation of just kind of a halfback wheel with all stick, and that's just dirty. Looks like Bo Jackson can't handle the coverage. And again, the touch on so many of these, except for that one miss, you know, the rest of them are just beautiful right here. This is almost to me kind of a, a poorly run route down here at the bottom. Normally, this is more of a rub route. So here, he, to me, he just comes up and runs like a stick. I think we run some variation of spacing on the backside and we get that wheel down the sideline. Normally, this route, and I would say this route executed at a high level is trying to pick whoever they think has this back on the wheel. So, I mean, it's, you know, this is just the back beating him down the field. But I think it could be even better with a rub. Now, maybe he thought the guy, that linebacker type was blitzing when he walked up to the line of scrimmage. But a linebacker up in the line of scrimmage area trying to fake blitz or green dog is going to really struggle with this route, obviously. Captain Obvious with me. Sweet irony, running up the tunnel, beating Bo Jackson on the coverage. Just beautiful touch, though. I, I can't tell you that throw is not easy. It's it's a it's firm, but there's touch and it's right in the bucket. Love it. Last one here, just a massive fourth and two, middle of the field. We're gonna get a little rub to the number three up top on the wheel. Just a beautiful ball, great catch. This is again a combination of great touch, precision, accuracy but really a well-designed play. To me, when we get back to the wide, we can see 
This is really just a version of mesh with a running back wheel. I think normally it's run with a running back wheel from the backfield, but here we're going to run it from the number three receiver. So what am I talking about? This is where the ball goes, right? So we're going to be able to come out here and he's going to come up here and get into this wheel area. Well, what am I talking about with mesh? First thing here is we're going to get this shorty motion. So he's going to come down here and we're running to me. This is mesh. This and this is the bones of mesh. You add this kind of deep hook over and that looks like mesh. If I just drew up this, just about any coach in America, anybody who follows ball is going to identify that as mesh. Now they end up doing six person protection. So they block it up. And then normally this guy from the backfield running back is running the wheel, pushing outside. Well, now they just line him up, use their tight end here. He comes up, he's able to use that first mesh runner right here, coming in here as a pick and widen like that. So you get to do it to the field. You get to do it to a guy who's maybe a little bit more adept at catching balls down the field. Just a really well-designed play with the short motion. He comes in for the rub, really short shift. There's that rub where he's got that linebacker type over the number three. He's got to go under, but then you got to make a perfect throw. And it's also fourth and two. So you're going to take shots like this on fourth and two, get hookups. It's a good thing. Just really a thing of beauty, the combination of play design, uh, aggressiveness on fourth down, and then the precision with the accuracy that's just all over. It saturates the film. Fun to watch. So that is a wrap. Justin Herbert really putting on a special performance. The accuracy and the precision of it, uh, really fun to watch. Kind of, you know, elite beyond his years is really kind of the best way that I can sum it up. Fun to watch, fun to break down. Love to see some of the scheme that they're doing too. Kind of mixing some old stuff with some new stuff. Fun to see. So if you want to see the entire video, again, hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community. As always, I appreciate the support. Have a good one. See you next time.